the spirit of liberty amongst eighth graders in this country. When you have eighth graders who are deigning to not appear in a photograph with someone who is completely committed to cutting off many of their parents' health care, uh, to destroying health care for them when they grow older, to making sure that uh, kids living in poverty don't have enough to eat, um, to uh, making sure that grandma can't stay in her nursing home anymore because she's not getting Medicaid payments. I mean, goes on and on. What has become of this country? Here is a clip talking about 100 to 150 of my favorite kids in the world. Um, they are from South Orange Middle School in New Jersey. Apparently, it's like a upper middle class community. Um, and I am so heartened that there is this level of political awareness by eighth graders and that they don't give a crap about getting a picture with someone like Paul Ryan. Um, I want to give this kid I want to give this kid a medal, but here is the story. Um, this is coming from ABC7 News, I guess. New 11, a group of middle school students from New Jersey causing quite a flap tonight after half of them refused to take a picture with Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan. Many of them saying they don't agree with his political views. The snub happening yesterday during a field trip to Washington. Reaction from the students' parents as politically divided as the country. Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. It's not just a picture. Matthew Malaspina says he couldn't go through with it. It didn't matter that Paul Ryan is the Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives or that he is third in line to the presidency when he and his classmates from South Orange Pause Middle it. School. I love, first of all, I just got to say, like, local news voices are just unbelievable. It's always the same. It's, it didn't matter that he was the Speaker of the House of Representatives or third in line for the presidency. What kind of miserable seventh grade kid would actually be like, you know, guys, I disagree just as much as the well, next fellow, but, well, but he's third hear, in line to the presidency. I Let's hear, take this picture. That's, I want to hear as we go forward if these guys also say, it didn't matter to this uh, student who did want to take a picture that Paul Ryan is dedicated his life to cutting taxes on billionaires and cutting services for people that he may see walking the streets every day. Here we go. House of Representatives, or that he is third in line to the presidency. When he and his classmates from South Orange Middle School had the chance to take a picture with the speaker, Matthew watched from the parking lot with 100 of his fellow students. It's being associated with a person who puts his party before his country. The students were on a field trip to Washington. Matthew found out the night before. I'm just not going to do it, he texted his mom. Say you would rather not, she wrote back, and Matthew agreed. I think the point was I don't want to be associated with him and his policies and, you know, what he stands for. Other parents see it differently. One of them complaining in social media that the students should respect the office of the Speaker of the House even if they disagree with the man who holds that office. The students from a progressive... Pause it. See, that's where he should have said, some of the uh, parents on uh, social media said, despite the fact that Paul Ryan wants to cut Medicaid by unbelievable amounts and wants to have children living in poverty to go without health care and food, say you should respect the office and uh, put aside your differences. Continue. Office. The students from a progressive upper middle class community. Were Pause it for one split. second. I just want to make it clear that these students are politically oriented. Uh, however, if you went to just give the picture with Paul Ryan, that would mean that you're not letting politics get in the way and you're not being partisan. Of the Speaker of the House, even if they disagree with the man who holds that office. The students from a progressive upper middle class community were evenly split. 100 others posed with Ryan. Miles Handelman was one of them. I thought it'd be very cool um, just seeing the man who's technically the third most powerful man in our country. I thought it'd be cool 
even if you disagree with them. Students say the speaker left entirely unaware of the eighth grade dissidents watching from a distance. There you go. <laughs> Those Not eighth graders totally failed. Paul Ryan didn't even register their dissent. So suck on this. Right. Better luck next time. Paul Ryan cucked those eighth graders. <laughs> there you go. Back to you, Bill and Mary. These eighth graders have been riding a bubble, Mary. <laughs> and it needed to be burst on social media. The clear suck on this message. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it.